This World Environment Day, the city of Cape Town chose to celebrate in a slightly different manner. Instead of the usual tree planting ceremony, the city launched its very own Green Map website, the first in Africa. The interactive site www.capetowngreenmap.co.za aims to make the city's inhabitants more environmentally conscious by highlighting green resources within the greater Cape Town area. Also launching on the day was opengreenmap.org, an offshoot of Green Map, the organization dedicated to producing hard copy maps of green resources in cities worldwide. Our local Green Map, however, is the result of a collaboration between the city of Cape Town, Green Map and FIFA. It was actually the city of Cape Town aligning itself with the 2010 Green Goal Action Plan. They have an action plan and there are a lot of um, goals they really have set themselves in making this a Green 2010. But beyond it being a Green 2010, it's about creating a various heritage projects. So beyond 2010, this is for 2010 and way beyond. While the site is home to all sorts of features relating to living a green lifestyle, the focal point of Cape Town's green map is its interactive map of the city. Using Google Earth technology, it allows visitors to zoom in on any specific area and find anything from recycling sites to sustainable living spaces. Green Maps has also devised a set of icons so as to ensure some sort of continuity from one local map to another. Each icon also has a strict set of criteria. The only such criteria needed to be listed on the site. If you qualify, you automatically come onto the map for free. That's a very important issue. So there's absolute credibility. It's not a matter if I pay, I'll be on. If you are green, you will be on. Recognizing that strategic partnerships are key to the site's success, it was an imperative for Table Mountain National Park, the most visited park in the country, to get on board. As Brett Myrdal, park manager, explains, it is hoped that this collaboration will not only boost Table Mountain National Park's profile, but that of all similar institutions. Table Mountain National Park is the most visited park in Africa. And as such, we have an opportunity to promote conservation, not just in South Africa, but in the whole continent. So Green Map helps us to do that. And that's why we're right behind that. We want people to know not just about Table Mountain National Park, but to use it as a shop window on conservation in the whole of Africa. And Africa features highly on Green Map's agenda going forward. Apart from a hard copy Green Map of Cape Town going on sale in time for the 2010 Soccer World Cup, it is hoped that the concept will spread to the rest of South Africa and eventually to neighboring countries. By 2010, we're going to convince all at least the host cities in South Africa to come aboard and create green maps for the host cities so that ultimately we have the umbrella of a South Africa green map. And yes, then we'd love to be talking to Botswana, to Kenya, to all the other places on the African continent. We've got a lot to say and a lot to contribute in terms of green issues. Since its virtual launch, www.capetowngreenmap.co.za has experienced a 2,000% spike in hits to the website. And with both listed businesses and visitors to the site expected to grow in the near future, it is hoped that Cape Town's Green Map will lead the way for a green revolution in both South Africa and the continent.